Hey everybody, Bob Trossett here alongside Lynchburg head coach Kadelka. Coach, you know, obviously lacrosse is a game of runs and it seems like your team responded to almost every single run that RIT put together. What happened in that final quarter? Well, I mean, I think it's a, it's a four-quarter game. You know, I think we, you know, you can probably dial it back to earlier in the game where we had, um, you know, we tied it at seven and then they score right off the faceoff coming back, you know, the next play to make it eight-seven and you just kind of... You know, you couldn't take the lead there, you know, in the second mm -hmm. half. I think that would have, you know, could have changed a little bit of the momentum of the game. But, um, you know, I thought, I mean, we had our chances. We had a couple of fast breaks there late in the game, and they just got to stick on it. And, you know, they're, they're a great team for a reason. And, um, you know, we were, we were really close, you know, and, and, you know, that's the way the game is. I mean, you guys came out firing, and it was obviously, you know, if you look at it on paper, especially from a record standpoint, maybe even stats, you'd say, oh, you know, RIT is going to come in there and take care of business. Well, that was clearly not the case. You guys hung in there. You had the lead several points. What was, you know, what was your message to the team pregame? Well, I mean, I, you know, we're a proud program, you know, sure. um, and we mean, uh, you know, we played in the national championship game a couple of years ago. So, uh, you know, playing our team means really, I mean, it's just another team. I and mean, We've played everybody. And so, you know, um, we're, our guys are battle tested and we, we planned all week to beat our IT today. And, um, you know, we came up, we came up a couple of goals, a couple of goals short. Um, but you know, we thought, you know, we had a good game plan. I thought, I thought guys did a great job of playing as hard as they could. And you know, a couple of balls here and there. I mean, um, you know, it's a different ball game. But um, you know, we're, we're, you know, obviously not excited with the result. I mean, they're, you know, we want to win this game. We, we expected to win this game. Sure. The Mustang Classic, Mustang Classic, is one of the more competitive tournaments. So you're probably playing all year long. You know, what's the biggest takeaway you want to sort of establish yourself for the rest of the season as a team from a tournament like this? Well, you know, I think we're, you know, we're, you come here and we, we played back-to-back -back games last weekend. You know, um, we won a conference game and then played a really good Elizabethtown team. And you know, you come up here to play RIT and Nazareth, another sure. extreme, you know, two proud programs. And you know, this is kind of the who's who of Division Three right now. You know, I mean, some great teams here and. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of other teams that wish they could be here and playing in this thing because it, it is an awesome event. You know, Stevenson does a great job putting this on. And, you know, we get a chance to, today to play, you know, what, what everyone ranks to be the number one team in the country. And then tomorrow we get to play another great, you know, Nazareth program. And so, um, you know, we're excited for this opportunity. This, this, this allows us to go where we want to go throughout the year, I think. Sure. Uh, it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's March 16th. You know, and, and nothing will be decided until May. Um, and so, uh, you know, we're still hopefully striving to become the best version of ourselves that we can, and, and we got, you know, some time to do that. Appreciate your time, Coach. Good luck the rest of the year. Thank you very much. He's Coach Kadelka. I'm Bob Trossett saying so long from day one, game number two here at the Mustang Classic.